Hey guys, this is Anthony from the Market Delta Trading Room. We're going to talk about the Delta in the Market Delta charts and show you how you become part of the Delta on a dome and how it shows up on charts and what it could mean and used as a real simple, simple signal. First off, Delta stands for the difference between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers. More aggressive buyers, higher the Delta. More aggressive sellers, the lower the Delta. How do you become part of the Delta? Let's just look on this dome for a second right now the price is 76 75 bid 77 even offer if i click on the offer like i just did and you look up here you could see i'm plus one the delta would be plus one a buy market order means you went and lifted the offer you would then contribute to a positive delta if with everything else being equal the delta is plus one if i flatten this position by hitting the bid at 76 and three quarters I'm flat, the delta would go to zero. If I put in a sell market order, hit the bid, in this case I'm hitting 77 evens, minus one is my position, and also the delta would be negative one. The more people hitting the bid, the lower the delta. The more people lifting the offer, or aggressively buying it, the higher the delta. So the difference constitute, constitutes a lot of buying or a lot of selling that comes in. So right now, if I put in a buy market order, lift the offer, it would flatten the position. And essentially, with all things being equal, the delta would be zero. So now let's bring in a chart. On these charts, the top part, and in this, you just kind of keep it simple. The top part or pane in this chart is price that's moving around. You can see it moving around on the dome and the chart right in there. The bottom pane is simply the delta we were talking about. If a lot of people are hitting the bid, the lower this lower chart will go. If a lot of people are lifting the offer with buy market orders, the higher this will go. So in a simple signal, how could you use this to find what we call a delta divergence? And that is, let's say the delta or a lot of aggressive sellers in this area are hitting the bid, delta's going down, but if you look up, price really isn't. It's holding above these highs. Yet the delta went below these, I'm sorry, it's holding above these lows. Yet the delta is failing and going through these lows. Delta's going through the lows, price isn't. And then you can see the next path of least resistance is up. Because all this aggressive selling isn't getting price to go with it. And when there's that divergence of a lot of sellers that can't get the market to go down after you sell it, you're a buyer. It's one of the most, um, it's one of the phrases I've used that's resonate resonates with everyone after you sell it you're a buyer after you buy it you're a seller so shorts have to get out and if they're not getting paid then they're not getting out for a profit they're the buyers that lead this market up simple signal that really allows you to put some visuals instead of having to create a feel for the buying and selling if you're just looking at a dome all these years trained to see the dome i could almost accurately assume what the delta chart looks like now you don't have to and you could just simply trade it as a market and watch it do something that price doesn't and it, it's going to give you an advantage a big advantage over those who aren't watching this or without watching it with that kind of skill set attached to it so you could see in real time as this market's trading price is going down delta is going down so really no information remember your clue isn't when something happens and it's supposed to happen. There's no information there. Your clue lies when something's supposed to happen and doesn't. It's always where your clue is going to be, when something's supposed to happen and doesn't. Well, how do you know if you don't know what's supposed to happen? Well, with the Delta, you knew, hey, it should be, it should be going down more. Why? Because the Delta, the uh, aggressive sellers are loading up in here. Price isn't reacting. And then you get this bounce. Hopefully this helped you guys not only understanding what Delta is, but how to use it comparing price to aggressive buyers and sellers.